Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are going to be using nail polish to marble some glass items. So I have this really pretty like reddish kind of gold coppery color, kind of a like pinky silvery color and then just white. So those are going to be my marbling colors and what I'm going to be marbling is a glass vase, a bowl, which I'm just doing the outside of all of them really, but because I don't know like how the nail polish is gonna react with like food and stuff in there, definitely only the outside of the bowl. And then I have this really cute little like glass candle holder too. So I'm hoping it turns out really well. I've actually never done this with nail polish. Generally speaking, when I paint on glass, I use my glass paints. You guys might've seen a few of those videos. If not, I'll link them above down below in the description as well. So you can check them out. But I have just a container. I wish I had like a clear container to show you guys this in it, but we have like a big glass bowl, but I don't want nail polish in the big glass bowl because we use that. So I needed a disposable container. So I'll change the camera angle so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But I'm gonna fill that full of water, be adding the nail polish into like a little marbling effect and then dipping and rolling the glassware and hopefully it turns out awesome. But like I said, I've never done it with nail polish before. I'm trying it out, but I've seen it all over Pinterest um, for years. So uh, hopefully it works out well and it's not one of those like fake hacks, but uh, yeah, I'll link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials as always and let's get going. I will awkwardly try to get in frame here. So this is the pan of water. I'm going to be adding a little bit of nail polish at a time to make hopefully a marbled effect. And then we will start dipping the glassware. For the most part, my head will be out of frame. Sorry. I need to break the surface tension and expand out just like that. And now we gotta move super quickly before it dries. That it's already drying. No. I don't really know how they do this in all the tutorials. It's like it dries so quickly. Here we go. Maybe maybe starting with white was my problem. Maybe I can't start with white. Maybe we're just gonna make a big puddle of paint in the center. And then we'll break that up and that will be the marbling effect, hopefully. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Pinterest made this look so much easier. Okay, we're gonna try this. Break it up a little bit. Just like that, we'll get rid of that old stuff. And... Hey, that's pretty cool. Other than the part where it like gripped it super weird, that's awesome. It's not easy to do. Like the paint does not do well in the water, but that's a cool effect. I like that. That's pretty neat. Like maybe I'll double dip it. I don't know. I like that, but like for that piece, it needs it needs more. It needs more up the sides. We're just going to like quickly try to do some pink here. If I can get enough off. So like the trick is because they're sinking to like throw it down with enough force that an air bubble gets stuck in the paint and it makes it float to the surface apparently. Do some red. The red and the pink don't seem to dry as quickly as the white so that's what we're gonna do. This is pretty cool. I like this. Ooh that one. Okay this red turns out awesome. Look at the way that like disperses in the water. That's so cool. This is gonna be neat, I like this. Maybe I won't go for like a true marble cause like maybe the white's messing it up. But I like the pink and I like the red. This is turning out well. Very excited for this. We're gonna drop some more in there. And get some colors working. We're gonna dip it again. I feel like I shouldn't, but I want it all the way up the sides. This is too cool not to. That's so neat, like you can pick up the entire like red splatter that was in there and it just like adheres to the glass. That's that's really cool, I like that a lot. I still have a completely bald spot on this side so I'm gonna try for one more. 
I'm like playing with fire with this, but I don't care. This is this has turned out awesome. I'm really excited for this. And we're gonna roll. Just like that. So cool. This little piece is coming down. I'm excited for this. This is awesome. Honestly, I can't really do this with my glass paints. It doesn't work the same. So, um, yeah, it's almost like picking up like little pieces of tissue in the water. So this is great. I'm gonna let this dry. No more dipping for this one. I feel like I finally got the hang of it. So we're gonna do the other ones. This is awesome though. This is working really well. Okay, so quick update. I got my fingers kind of washed. Um, the candle holder is drying and it's awesome. I can't say it's really like a marble effect. It's definitely like a cool color blocking palette effect. Um, I'm gonna try for marble on the bowl. The bowl's gonna be next just because it's easiest to grab. Um, but yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So it'll be my third attempt. I'm gonna clear all the stuff off the top, try and get like color blocks and um, make it work. But even with it out being like truly marbled, that's really pretty. Like this totally works. You just like, you gotta get the hang of it, but it's awesome. Okay, so you gotta like clear all of the dried paint off the top here. You can see it's like collecting on my finger. It's super gross. Just like wipe it off. And then the white dries too quickly. So I'm not gonna start with the white. I'm gonna start with the red. There we go. For whatever reason, this pink one likes to sink and not float. I'm gonna kinda go in and this will be the bottom. I'll just do that. Bring it up as far as we can. Bring it out at an angle so it all collects. Kinda looks like a masker. That's not super what I was going for, but okay, we'll give it a shot. Sure, why not? Let's just do a couple of like red stuff everywhere before it dries. Let's get a lot in there. And this is what we will turn. That's our bowl. That's just gonna dry. It is what it is. Okay, so the bowl is done. It's okay, but now's the moment of truth. Now's the vase, it's the big project, it's the big one, and I feel like I have had enough practice that I should be able to do this. It should be able to work out and look good. We're gonna find out. I really hope it does, because otherwise it's just gonna look really bad. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna use a lot of the red one, because that one seems to be working the best, doesn't dry as quickly as the other two. So yeah, here goes nothing. There we go, we'll just get like a ton in there and come on, come on, come on, come on, please be awesome. That's not bad. That's that's really cool. I kind of wish I had my gold paint down here because this and gold. You know what? I'm going to go get my gold because this would be great with a gold accent. So I've got my gold nail polish. There's my face. This stuff's instant dry. I have no idea how it's going to react with the water. We're going to find out. But first, I want some more of the red on there. Worst case scenario, I will just paint the gold on to create that like marbly effect that I want, but this is gonna be awesome. I don't even want the other colors in there, just red and gold, it's gonna be great.
We are going to attempt the gold, but this looks awesome. I want to show you because I've reached the point where I really love it and going any further might destroy it. So you need to see how beautiful it is before I destroy it. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully I make it better, but you never know with me in crafting. So this is how the vase turned out. It's really cool. It reminds me almost of like, like a globe, you know, like the different continents and everything. It's pretty cool. So I want it a little bit accented with gold. Worst case scenario, like I said, I'll paint it on, but I want to see what we can do with marbling. But it is insta-dry nail polish paint, so it could be like a terrible idea. We will find out. This is so awkward. Okay, the gold is going in. It's going in right now. We're going to do this better or worse, hopefully better, but um, yeah. Finally got some gold in this craft. You can't just be like a pale little thing. You've got to like have some veins of gold in you. Otherwise, you're just like putting yellow on there, and that's not good. I want like actual gold. There we go. Let's give it a try. Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. Not quite what I was going for, but I do like it. More gold, more gold, more gold. This is like my new funnest way to use nail polish. I don't actually paint my nails that often, but I love buying nail polish for whatever reason. Convinced I'm going to like do my nails and then I just don't do them. So this is like crafting with it means it wasn't a waste of money and that's a good thing. Come on, wrench out. Ooh, there we go. Okay. That turned out awesome oh my god I didn't even destroy it this is amazing okay there's one like bald spot that I'm gonna do right now oh, I can't wait to show you guys this turned out so 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 good okay this is cool this is cool here we go it's breaking apart like a champ look at me finally figuring out how to do this this is awesome Boom. Perfect. Oh, that turned out so good. So good. All right, I'm going to let that dry and I will show you what we ended up with. I'm going to dispose of this. Definitely destroyed the pan. So it is a good thing that we did not use a real pan. We used a disposable one because the stuff you can't cook with this anymore. So I should probably talk to the camera, huh? Um, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of this, let those dry for a second, but I'll show you before they dry. Um, nail polish takes forever to dry even when it's on thinly because there's like, you can see there's water trapped in between the vase and the nail polish. So it's gonna take a while to dry, um, but I'm gonna try and clean off my hands a little bit, clean this up, and then I will come back and show you what we ended up with. Okay, so I'm super excited to show you this. Apparently in the five minutes I was cleaning up, the light changed because it's winter in Minnesota and that's what it does when it's in the afternoon. I know it looks like it's like super dark outside. It's not, it's just like afternoon, pretty bright, but um, sorry. The lighting is what it is. So we're gonna go through my least favorite to my absolute favorite. I don't think you guys are going to be shocked by my choices. Least favorite is probably the bowl. It did turn out okay. It's pretty. The bottom is a wreck, which is unfortunate because you can see it through the bowl. Um, it's interesting. It's definitely a learning curve. It's not dry yet, so I'm having to like figure out where to hold it. Um, which is why like spinning it is an issue, but this is like kind of the only place I can hold it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not my favorite. It's fine though. I guess I can hold it upside down. Then you can't like really get the idea of it as a bowl, but like this is what it turned out as. So I will definitely do pictures at the ends, close up video, whatever, but, um, it's okay. It's cool. It's just, it's not my favorite. Second place for honorable mention, I guess, would be the candle holder. There we go. Got it. This one's easier to hold. This one's pretty cool, honestly. Um, I do like it. This side's my favorite over here. You can see that. Um, this side's really cool too. And then the white part got like bubbles in it, like bubbles of water. So it's kind of like an interesting thing. Little bit of the marbled at the bottom, honestly. Like this is more of the effect I was going across all surface areas of all three. And I got it on the very bottom of my first dip of my candle holder. And I never got it again, but pretty cool. 
I think this will be great when it's got a candle in it because like everything's kind of translucent. Like you can see through it, so with the light flickering, that'll be really pretty. And we're on to the vase, and the vase is my very favorite. It just turned out awesome. I'm so excited for this. I love gold. You guys know I love gold, um, but I also love when it's like translucent over paintings, which is what that is. So when I made that, I did it outside in the rain, and I used spray paint, and then I did like gold over the top of it. So it changes color in certain lights, which is great. Usually during the day, it's pretty like flat because the gold's reflecting, but if you go like at nighttime, or change the angle the true colors come out and you can kind of see them now because it's a little bit darker um, and that doesn't usually show up on camera so that's kind of cool that is the effect that it is doing here so I was smart and I didn't go above this area here so I can hold it but this is how the vase turned out and I'm obsessed with this I think this is super super beautiful so you got kind of the mauve paint coming through which should be cranberry red with like orange accents I don't know what happened there but then the gold on top I love this I think this looks absolutely stunning absolutely amazing that side right there is my favorite like right there super cool so that is how it turned out guys that is my first attempt at nail polish marbling and um it does work it totally works there is a learning curve definitely but it did work out and all three pieces look pretty good so um yeah so <laughs> hopefully you found that uh entertaining if not helpful but uh yeah i will uh Link what I used down below. You can definitely use whatever nail polishes you want and whatever glassware you want. But uh, thanks so much for watching and joining me today. I hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now. So this is kind of a close up of the vase and just all the different colors and how it turned out. This one's my favorite. I think it's really beautiful. I love the gold kind of accent on it. The texture is more interesting than I thought it was going to be on these pieces. Some of the nail polish didn't lie perfectly flat and there's like some rough parts and bubbles. You can really see that on the candle holder, which is this one, and the bowl, which is coming up. But they both turned out really beautifully. But like right here you can see, um, you can see there's some, some texture. You can feel it, it's a little bit raised just where the uh, nail polish kind of grouped up on itself. But in general, it turned out absolutely beautifully. And here's the bowl. I actually like this one a lot better now that it's dry. This side's my favorite right here. It's a little bit more textured, but um, you know, you can kind of see, and you can see looking in the bowl that there's just more interesting, more interesting stuff going on right there. So that's why I like that.